First of all, the biggest one is the full closure of the canyon. So we have it closed from Glenwood Springs to Dotsero, which is 116 to 133. Really, you don't want to have live traffic running on the interstate when you've got this kind of operation in place. It is really safety critical rockfall work. You'll see that behind me there's a truck that has the large post and fencing on it, and we've got a helicopter that comes in and picks the post up, takes it up to where we have a foundation port, and you can see the crew behind me as well, who then have to get that in place and get it bolted in. So right now, a lot of the fencing is wrapped around the post, and so then they'll obviously, when they can get the post in, they'll get to a point where they start to extend that fencing to cover the rockfall site that we're working on. We'll be actually probably able to stop traffic during that time when we're spreading the fencing out. Today is a little bit more challenging because you have a helicopter picking the post and, and trying to get it up to the hillside. And even from what you've seen out here today, this feels like a beautiful day to fly, but he's experiencing some situation with downdrafts. So this fencing is designed to really stop boulders as large as, you know, a small car. You know, it can really catch, it really absorbs a boulder when it hits. Even the smaller sections around, we saw that in action on the earlier incident this year. One of the things we really encourage people to keep an eye on when we have these kinds of closures is our website, our travel information website. It'll have the updates about the time of the closure, when the canyon is reopened, and it also lets people know other routes they can take to get around this particular closure. One thing we do like to let people know, though, is that Independence Pass, which is one of our probably most popular alternate routes, does not allow commercial vehicle traffic on it.